Good morning. It's Miss Ann. Today it's May 29th. Um, we are part of the Jungle Week or the Rainforest Week. And we are going to draw, learn how to draw a toucan. Toucan is a tropical bird. Uh, let me show you the picture of one I drew. They're known for this over here. They're beautiful beaks. They're very. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, they're pretty much. Their bodies are pretty much all black, except for a really pretty yellow breast. But then they have this beautiful beak. Now, uh, mine was pretty simple that I drew, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna play around. We can maybe make a rainbow beak um, because I'll post some pictures of them. Um, or I'll send some pictures of them. Um, they all have all different colors. So I think we're going to do rainbow. So we're going to have them um, on a branch, standing on a branch, or perched on a branch, I should say. So we are going to hold the paper. I'm going to put this over here so I can see it. Like this. This is the way we're going to hold it because the bird is going to go this way. Okay. So we're going to need um, a pencil drawing pencil and an eraser but we're not going to erase a lot so okay let's start with um a circle i love to start with circles so let's start with a circle right there okay and you're never going to guess what that is that's his eye so let's draw another circle around it like that Everybody got that? And then what we're gonna do, let me get this. I can't see it. I can't put my glasses. We're gonna draw half of a circle. So like a backward C, like that. Okay? How's that look? Does that look okay? Then we're gonna close that half circle with almost a straight line. Like that. So now, what's it kind of look like? It kind of looks like a P, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to draw the beak. The beak is going to come out this way. So we are going to draw a nice line, kind of curve like that. Okay. And then we're going to close it. So it's almost... Is it kind of like a triangle? Kinda, yeah. And then let's draw a line right here. So this is the upper beak, and this is the lower beak, and he opens up his beak like that. Now, let's draw the body. It's a pretty simple body. Um, we're gonna start the body above the eye like that. Like that. And then there's his head, and there's his little body. They're actually, they're kind of funny. Their beaks are almost as big as their bodies. Um, okay. Okay, so we're gonna put his, we're gonna put that branch right here. Yeah, right. So just a skinny little branch, like that. Okay, and then let's bring this down a little bit. Then his for his feet, we gotta draw his feet. He's got um, birds have like claws. Uh, they have fingers, kind of fingers, but they're they kind of look like claws. So we're just gonna draw like these, and then here would. And then his tail feathers are going to come behind the branch, or her tail feathers. There. Okay. Now, he's got this beautiful yellow, green kind of breast, or 
chest right there. So that's going to be kind of yellow. This is all black. All right. So let's get started with the colors. So the eye is going to be, um, it's like a black eye. So what do we do when we draw eyes? Remember we draw the little square? Yeah, so we're going to do that. And you could just color this in with your uh, drawing pencil. How does that look? Does that look good? Okay. Okay, so this part is going to be white. And then this part is going to be kind of a light yellow green. We don't have yellow green, but we have green and we have yellow. So um, let's get our. I actually don't like that yellow. Uh, sorts of things plugged in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, look what I did. I made it worse. That's better. Okay. So let's color this area around here. Do I start with yellow first? Like that, all around, but not the white part, just all around. Nice yellow. And then we're going to add green, very softly. We're making um, a color called yellow green, because it has yellow and green. Okay? How's that look? That look good? Okay. Now his chest right here is all yellow. So let's just use that yellow crayon or, crayon or um, coloring pencil that we had out and make that yellow. Back and forth, back and forth. Like that. It's really early. It's, it's about six o'clock. I have a lot to do this morning. I have to go to the grocery store and I always go early on Fridays because I'm older and older people can go early before it gets crowded. Then I have to go to the dentist. Oh. So I want to get this. I didn't want to miss. I don't want to post this too late. So, how's that look? Does that look good? I like that. Okay, so let's play with the, the bill or the beak. So let's get our colors out. Then we're gonna do rainbow. So we got yellow and we have green, but we need six colors, don't we? What colors are we missing? We're missing red, which I can never find. I don't know why. I have a hard time finding red. Is that red? No, that's orange red. <laughs> Um, here's orange. Okay. Uh, blue. Here's blue. It's a nice blue. Here's purple. Here's purple. That's magenta. Oh, magenta. Oh, remember we were looking for magenta? Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> huh. Purple. Is this purple? So we're just missing red, red pencil. What's that? Oh, it's red orange. I keep putting, oh, it's right here. I had it out. Okay, so let's start with, oh, should we start with red, the closest? Yeah. So let's do a nice band of red. Like that. How with this red pencil? It's really light. I don't know why. I could get a better red. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so we've done our red. Let's add our orange. Oh, look at that. Oh, good. Hmm. A little bit more. Because we need six colors. We want to use the whole space. And we don't want to repeat. Okay, put that over there. Yellow. So we have three colors already, red, orange, and yellow. Okay, put that over there. Green. It's a good blue. I guess it's okay. And then the last color is purple. Now, all of, oh, you know what? Since we have our colored pencils out, his, his feet or his claws, they're blue. So let's color those blue. Now that we have that out. One, two, he's got three. I don't know if he actually has three little toes, but that's how we're drawing it. Okay, now this part is going to be black. So we can either use um, your drawing pencil or we can use, I think your pen, or your, I know your crayons have black. And I think your, um, your color pencils have black. So let's find a black pencil. That's brown. I don't know if I have one. I'm just going to use my, I found this really nice drawing pencil. Um, I'm going to use that. So, yeah. The problem with a drawing pencil like this is it smears. You know what smears mean? It gets all over everything. Like, I'm going to smear it just to show you that it smears. Ah, of course I didn't. But if you're left-handed, you have to be real careful when you use these kind of pencils. Okay. Oh, it is warm in here. Really muggy out. Muggy means it's humid. It's a lot of moisture in the air. It's just what I call icky. It's icky weather. Head. Take this right there, top of the head. Cool, that's good. And then uh, let's do the bottom. And we're not going to touch his. Um, his little claws. Okay, and then let's do his tail feathers. How's that look? 
go with this. It made his tail feathers a little wider than I wanted to. That's okay. I like that. Okay, so then this part is a branch, so that's gonna be brown. We have brown here. So we're just gonna color the branch brown. outline this brown and then remember we did the lines to make it look more like a tree yeah. cool looks good okay so let's see if this will fit in our little scene so we've got this we could have the we could put this here we don't have to put this here we can move this around it could be on the page or off the page so I'm going to put it off the page for a second. So let's see, our bird. Hmm, our bird's a little big, isn't it? So how big should we make our bird? Let's put this bird over here. How big should that be? Um, I think it should be like maybe this big. Okay. How's that look? That big? And then it could sit in one of these trees. It could actually sit on that branch. Okay, so, or actually we're making a branch. Okay, so let's use this. It's going to be really small. <laughs> oh dear. So let's make it pretty small. Okay, so what do we, what do we start with? Remember we start with a circle. Okay, can you guys see? Let me make sure you can see. Can you see that circle I made? Let's take this away because that's distracting. Okay, where's my circle? Oh, there's my circle. Okay. All right, and then we draw a little circle around our circle. Remember? And then we draw um, like a P. It turns out it was a P, wasn't it? Like that. Okay, does that look like a P? All right. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the beak. The way I drew it, the beak is gonna kind of be small. Hmm, dear. Let's take up this whole space here. Oh, actually, that works out okay. I'm gonna draw it right there. Okay. And then the the line. So this is the upper beak, and this is the lower beak. Okay. And then we're gonna draw the body. Yep. <laughs> I didn't give enough space for this tail feathers. Can't really see. Unless I make it longer like that. How, how about that? And we'll do. Which way was the branch coming? The branch was coming this way. Okay. Draw a teeny little feet. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so let's do that eye. Remember the eye? Oh wait, the middle of the eye was what? What was that color? That was black. So let's do this. How's that? Does that look good? And then around the eye, this is white, but then around the eye is green, yellow, green. Oops, I started with green. Probably should have started. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. That's good. Okay, so let's put some yellow in there. Cool. That looks good. Okay. Then I forgot to draw um, a little his chest. How does his chest work? Okay, so it's just, just this part right here. Like that. And what color was that? That was yellow. So let's make that yellow. Okay, how's that look? Looks good. Okay, then we're gonna do the beak. We're gonna make it um, rainbow. We're gonna just make smaller little chunks of color. So, a little bit of red. I do have to find a better red pencil. A little bit of red, like that. A little bit of orange. Red, orange. Okay. 
What's the next color? Green. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's not green. Oh, it's yellow. I can't do yellow. I can't do red, orange. I forgot yellow. Oh, rats. This is going to be a crazy beat. Okay. Now I'll put green in there. Or yellow. Oh, I'm so mixed up. Um, blue. Where's my blue? Uh, did I put away the blue? Why did I do that? Hmm. Where's my blue? Is that blue? No. Oh, here's blue. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. Okay. Blue. It looks okay, though. Do you think it looks okay? I think it's okay. All right. Okay, then since we have blue out, let's do his feet. They're very small. Okay, and then the rest of this will be black. Black, black, black. His body, except for the branch. We don't have to color as much because it's smaller. Okay, put it over there. And the branch is brown. So I'm going to draw the branch. We can make the branch a little bigger. Like that. How's that look? Okay, I'm going to put these all back where they belong. Okay. So I'll go there. So let's do, you do that too. Okay, so let's cut this out. If you have scissors or ask somebody in your family, you can, they can help you cut this out. Okay. Put this paper over here because I'm going to use it for our other animals that we're going to do next week. Um, what are we doing on Monday? We're going to do a sloth on Monday. They are fun. They're so cute. They have really cute faces. And they hang upside down with their babies. So there. Whew, it's gonna be hard to cut. Okay. Coming around. Cutting a little bit off of his body. Probably don't want to do that, do I? There we go. So these pieces I'm going to throw away immediately. Oh, I lost my, uh, I used to have a trash bag. Oh well, I cleaned my house yesterday. I must have thrown it out. Okay. There. Cool. How's that look? There's this, the big one. No, where's the one I did? That was the one I did it before. Okay, so. Oh, here's the one. Okay, so we have... <laughs> it could be a baby. Couldn't it be? could be a little baby. Yep. All right, so let's see what we got here. Our scene in our rainforest or jungle scene. Let's see. Can you see that? Is that all good? Okay. Put that stuff too. Okay, so this guy can either go here. Oh, he's kind of curved. The paper that I'm using is real thin. So, oh, or he could be on the ground. He could be right here. Is that, oh, I like that. Or he could be over here. He could be over here. He could be right there. Yeah. But, <laughs> when this guy comes around, nope, let's say this guy's coming around. We're going to move him over here. And move him over here. Wow. That's a, it's starting to get busy. And then, let's see. On Monday, we're going to draw um, a sloth. So a sloth's going to be from another branch, too. So we may have it over there. Over here. Maybe over here. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right. So that's our time here at 25 minutes. Pretty good. Um, I hope you have a 
good day. It's going to be, I think, rainy today. I'm not sure. Um, kind of icky. Um, and I will have a great weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday.